This section is going to be all about fixing the anomalies that occur when you're recording vocal tracks. So let's start by denoising a very noisy track. Here we have a vocal recording. It's of me. Sorry about that. But you can see that there is a lot of spray pattern like I talked about in the first section. That's noise. And what happened with this particular track was that the preamp gain was set way too high. And that added a whole bunch of noise to the audio file. Let me drop the waveform display out of the way here and just look at the spectrogram. So this is all noise. All of these brighter orange components are actually the tonal elements. So noise versus tone. So I'm going to double click on that waveform spectrogram window. Let's listen to this audio track in its raw format. Alarm clock signals morning. I'm jumping out of bed. I'm too late to make some coffee, got to clear my head. So that high frequency hiss is just really distracting. So what we want to do is get rid of the hiss, but keep the tonality. And to do that, let's employ the voice denoise module. So I'm going to click on that over here. And right now it's just in its default state. Now let's talk about some of the controls. First of all, the threshold control sets the threshold where the noise reduction is going to take place, and the reduction is the amount in decibels of how much of the noise you want to remove, thereby leaving the tonal component. There's also optimization for both dialogue and for music, and there is either adaptive mode or learn mode. And I'll show you how to use both of those right now. So if we just use this default state with the adaptive mode on, let's go ahead and hit the preview button. Because when you're processing using a module, you don't actually use the space bar for playback. Instead, you're going to use the preview button. Next to that is the bypass button so that you can audition the before and the after. So let's just hit preview right now to see what happens in the voice denoise window. So right now it's previewing, and you can see that it's tracking in the spectrum display how the noise reduction and the tonal components are being processed. So if we were to hit the bypass button, we'd hear the before and the after. has no food to speak of, it hasn't for a week. How can all this work be justified? When the old man climbs into his Cadillac and drives. But when so the adaptive over, mode is going to make constant adjustments to the tonal versus noisy components of this file. So down here, you'll see that there's a compare button. I'm going to click on that with these settings. That will reveal the compare settings window. And here we're going to be able to audition several different settings and choose the one that we like the most. And a lot of modules work this exact same way. And now let's make some other settings to the voice denoise module. So let's try a little bit lighter processing. Let's come down to 6 dB and hit the compare button again. You'll see that now it's loading new settings into the compare settings window. Let's do a third one that's really going to take away a lot of the hiss, but actually make may take out too much of the tonality. So there's always a balance between those two components. So let's hit compare again. And now we can come down to this compare settings window. I'm going to open it up a little bit. And I'm going to click on that first setting and hit preview. And we can listen to the result and see how it appears here in the waveform spectrogram window. Alarm clock signals morning. I'm jumping out of bed. So that's removing some noise. Let's try the less aggressive settings. I stumble to the shower and wash away the sleep. You'll notice that when I selected that, we start to see more of that noisy component. Let's try the third settings. Be justified when the old man climbs into his Cadillac and drives. But when my day is over, so. I can hit stop now. If I wanted to load any of those settings back into the module, I would just click on it and then click view settings. That will load those settings back into the module. And I'm going to show you one other thing you can try. Let's start with one of the more gentle settings. I'm just going to set the reduction at 6 dB and I'm going to click process to apply that noise reduction to the file. 
And then what I'm going to do is apply a little more gentle setting, like 4 or even 3 dB of noise reduction, then click process, and that's going to take away just a little bit more of the noise. So sometimes it's better to do two gentle passes instead of one big massive noise reduction. So now that I've processed that file, let's go ahead and use the space bar to play back the file. And we'll hear that we have a much better sounding version without all of that noise. Alarm clock signals morning. I'm jumping out of bed. I'm too late to make some coffee. Got to clear my head. Now let's listen to some of those other settings here in the history. Let's go to the original file with all the noise. It hasn't for a week. How can all Let's try the first pass be justified and the second the pass and climbs into his Cadillac and drives. But when my day is over, I climb into my car, drive into the city and rock to those guitars.